Hi everyone and welcome back to the O oh So and So. My name is Susan and I am so glad that you're here today. Uh, so I have a haul for you um, from two different places. Um, one of the haul that I'm gonna show you first is at um, Antiques on the Main Street in Dade City, Florida. So if you're anywhere close to Tampa, Lakeland, Zephyr Hills, um, Orlando, it's, it's right in there and it is well worth the trip, especially if you like primitives. Um, Peggy, she has been doing this for 27, 28 years. So she definitely knows her stuff. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in because I really, I felt like I got some good stuff. Um, so my husband, um, flew to, um, Tampa. He picked up a vehicle for a very good friend and, um, he was coming back through and I said, oh, so Todd, do you think you can stop in Dade City for me? Because probably a month before, um, um, we had purchased some stone fruit. And these are the grapes. And I said, can you go pick up my grapes for me? Oh, guys, these are absolutely beautiful. And her prices are amazing. So how much do you think I gave for these? gonna be a surprising amount but they were 40 a piece now stone fruit definitely gets pricey um so i was so excited but i said todd when you get there facetime with me so i can see her shop because i'm telling you if we ever win the big lotto I'm gonna get a U-Haul, I'm gonna park it in front of her store, and I am going to basically clean her store out because it is that good. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the this, this stuff that I got. The first thing that I purchased on this video, cause I said, Todd, you know, make sure you go slow so I can see. So I got this watering can. It's not very large, um, but it's nice. You know, I could even still use it. I don't know what it looks like inside, but it looks good. And the watering can was 27, but um, I liked it. You know, it's gonna go out on the deck somewhere. And then the next thing I got, were these um, these hearts that were cut out of old tin. Um, each one of them is a little different. Different sizes. And um, when I was out in that garage working for I don't know how long, um, I found some old pieces of wood and I'm like, these would be beautiful attached to some of those pieces. So, um, I think I gave $4 for these, which I should have bought all of them. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to be good. And then um, this next thing I got, it is a um, herb drying rack or a candle holder. And it has the little grooves in here. And um, and I said, oh, I want that too. <laughs> Dot says, okay. And then she had these handmade candles on it. Uh, I don't even know how much I gave for the candles. Um, Looks like 28, but these were definitely handmade and they're all different sizes. 
Look how pretty. And I got four of them. And look, they'll go right in, right in there. This is gonna be so pretty. Um, I'll put some other candles that I have. And so I got to hang this from the ceiling somewhere. I don't know where. I'm sure I'll find a spot somewhere. Um, and then let's see, I'm looking at my, looking at my list here. Okay, so then this shelf, oh my goodness, guys. Um, a primitive shelf, they're so few and far apart. I mean, I love the green. Look the way that is made. This was so pretty, and it was 55. Um, I can put this shelf um, upstairs in the bonus room, or I can put it in our master bedroom because those are the two areas that I'm using green. Um, and then this box, guys. Um, any kind of advertising is costly. Now, this box is absolutely beautiful. Look. Look how pretty. So, I'm going to put it back on this table and kind of move this camera a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, look. It is beautiful. I'm going to move this stuff so you can see. But... Um, the top of it is beautiful, but it's hinged. So look, when you open it, you can see more advertising. This is, I mean, this is, oh, this paper is still in good condition. And that's one thing about Peggy's shop. She's, um, she's very picky about what she purchased to go in there, but I absolutely love it um so i want to put this hopefully on top of the ice box somewhere i'm not quite sure but i definitely want it in this kitchen um somewhere um either over there in the corner or on top of that but um i've known peggy for quite some time and Look, look at this old bonnet. Um, it even has um, the old advertising stuffed into it. So, um, she's such a sweetheart. So she gave me this for my birthday. Now, it's April. And my birthday is not until June, <laughs> but it is beautiful. And I know exactly where this is going to go. Um, I love old material like this. So Peggy, if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, now, um, I have another haul. So I'm gonna stop this video and um, bring that other stuff over so you can see that. So hold on. I got to look at the button. It's red. Okay, so this next haul is from Antiques on 231. And um, I can always find unusual, special stuff. I don't know, I don't know how to describe um, Antiques on 231. There are so many great booth owners there and they bring things in all the time. So, um, this I got, look at this basket. Love it. Um, and when I saw this, um, I'm like, you know what? That would look so good 
on top of a cupboard or whatever. Um, and then I was like, okay. So I got some florals. Um, so I want to use this in the master bedroom. So let me pull one of these apart. I mean, how pretty is that? So what I'm wanting to do with this basket is put these florals in it and maybe off of one side have like um, some of my large doilies to kind of like drape out. So I thought that would be, I thought it would be, you know, something different, but one of the most unusual and different pieces that I have purchased from there is this next piece. And um, it is a tobacco drying rack. So look, <laughs> it is, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. It's definitely something unusual. So let me set it down very carefully because it does have splinters. My thumb will tell you that it does. So this part right here, it comes up and then this opens up. Um, and when I looked at it, I'm like, I like that. It's, it's so unusual. What can I do with it? So, um, I have redone everything in this house, except for this eating area and the tops of the counter in the kitchen. But over here on this wall, let me see if I can move this for a second so I can kind of really show you what I'm talking about. Can you see it? No. But on this wall, I want to attach it up there. And um, what I'm thinking of is putting it like that up there and, you know, uh, screwing this part to the wall in the studs because that way it can be a shelf and I can hang things from the old nails. So that's, that's my thinking. I'm hoping that this will work. You never know. Um, and then um, I got some, um, they call these butter pads. Um, but look at this one. It is so primitive. Look at that. Um, I don't know. I really like these. Now, I have some different butter pads. They have the more uh, larger um, paddle on the end. But I thought these were neat. And um, we have um, a lady that comes in. Her name is Joy. And Joy had picked out two of these. And I'm like, ooh, because she has primitives in her house. And I'm like, you know, let me go investigate. And, cause I didn't have this kind. And I thought, well, I think I need these. Um, to my surprise, they were pricey, but you know, good primitives are. Um, let's see, did I tell you how much, did I tell you how much the basket was? Let me look. The basket was 34 and the flower uh, stems were $6.75 each and the uh, tobacco hanger was 29 which I thought that was a really good price. I really like that. Um, but um, when I tell you how much I spent for these, you might want to hold on to your chair. And you'll probably think, Susan, that's too much. But if you think about it, how much do you pay for history? Well, 
these six butter pats paddles were 90 but I really I really like them I really like this one um look how nice okay guys so um I'm going to um get off here um I went to Goodwill the other day and just to get away from that garage and pricing and I did not find that one thing at Goodwill and so I thought you know what I'm gonna go next across the street and um I went clothes shopping so this is my new shirt I got two new shirts from Ross I was very surprised about that and I found some at Marshall's there so I'm like, you know what? I definitely needed some new clothes. I can't wear t-shirts to work. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get off here and um, I'm gonna play. Um, so I hope you stay tuned for that video. Um, I do know where a few of the items are gonna go, which will not be too long. Um, and I've got to find that wood again because I had packed everything so nice and neat out there. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned for the other part. Hold on, I gotta do this again. Maybe I should pull my glasses down so I can see the red button. Bye.